Back in the 80s, scientists stumbled upon these little barrel-shaped guys inside of cells. They decided to call them vaults because the arches on the surface of the particle reminded them of vaulted ceilings in a cathedral. We have thousands and thousands of vaults in most of our cells, and all kinds of organisms, even slime molds, have vaults. Even though they're super common, we have no idea what vaults actually do. If you turn off the genes that make vaults in mice, the mice seem healthy, they don't develop that differently compared to regular mice. Some think vaults could be moving things around in our cells or clearing toxins, but there isn't super strong evidence to support either of these theories. Vaults actually do contain some material in them, and researchers discovered that they could create vaults that were completely empty. Now they're testing whether these empty vaults could be used as stealthy containers to deliver all sorts of things, like cancer treatments. One pharmaceutical company has tried loading vaults with an immune signal called CCL21. Injecting these vaults into a tumor can then trigger immune cells to attack the tumor. Vaults could also be packed with enzymes to clean up contaminated water or even used for gene therapy. The possibilities are vast, even if we still don't know the role they play in our own bodies. 